Hello. Uh, I'm introducing today uh, the hand, handheld gaming platform. It's a Snapdragon's uh, G3X platform, and this is, introduces, um, I guess, a new immersive experience for games. It's like, what this is? Uh, first, we have an OLED display. We have haptic feedback. We have four-way speakers, and all of this creates a, a good sense of immersion. Uh, furthermore, it's like we have active cooling system. This allows us to play um, at peak performance without any interruptions due to you know throttling. All of this combined allows us to have an immersive game experience. Furthermore, with the good connectivity of 5G and Wi-Fi 60, like we don't experience any lag. Furthermore, this allows us to uh, work with um, both installed games or within the platform and games in the cloud. So here's an example of a, of a game. Give me a second. Now, I did mention that um, this was about an immersive experience, but we also have other features like, for example, a camera. If you want to I say play on Twitch and you know record yourself. You don't have to have any uh, additional uh, software, hardware. Okay. And here's some gameplay. So we just show some gameplay um, using the handheld, uh, completely detached, it can be mobile. But let's say if you want to use a bigger screen or you don't want to look down at your console, you could connect this to a television using um, USB Type-C to HDMI adapter and you could play on a television. This supports a 4K television and on standalone mode, it could go up to 144 uh, frames per second. Also notice the, this configuration is different. When I was using it on the standalone mode, I was using it with the joysticks. Here, uh, it's being used uh, with the tilt sensors. So now that we've uh, experienced or had a first look at this device, I just uh, like to say this is a dev kit similar to a prototype in collaboration with Razer. So this uh, handheld gaming platform uses a G3X, uh, so the Snapdragon G3X, which is a derivation from premium tier mobile chipsets. Now since this, this is Android based, it has access to the Google Play Store and to the Xbox Game Pass, uh, which allows you to play local installs or play on the cloud.